Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Friday morning, December 30th. We are looking at Window Traders Market Profile of the ES and SPY. Doing a video a little bit early, I have to get to a doctor's appointment. Last trading day of the year, um, markets had a rough year. We'll see uh, what we end down by the end of today. We were talking yesterday in the trading room, we do have an inside week. We were trying to figure out, uh, do we have a chance to uh, take out last week's high? And I had said, if we hold uh, yet today's uh, trend day, meaning yesterday's, I think we'd have a decent chance of coming out of the upper distribution and possibly testing the uh, weekly high. Right now, though, again, there's still time. There's a little over 90 minutes to go. But right now, it looks like we're giving back that trend day, or possibly. So if that happens, then no, uh, we're going to have an inside week, which should provide a really nice opportunity starting on Tuesday, right? I don't mind coming out of an inside week, uh, the first trading uh, week of the year. That would be very nice. Cues, uh, on the other hand, still have a slight worry of having an outside month down, right? Last month's low is 259 and change. Now, there's still $5 above it, but if... These tech stocks, which have been beaten up all year, if they decide to really sit on them the last day of the trading year, there's that slight possibility of having an outside month down, right? Certainly, that would be the uh, cherry on top for the bears um, with the decimation they did to these tech companies and the NASDAQ overall. The Russell, <clears throat> on the other hand, amazing, trading right around the 173.50 level. So again, they've been languishing four and a half years of, of nowhere, right? August of 2018's high. They've been sitting around it now. So four and a half years of no gains for the Russell. So very interesting here as this year comes to an end. Um, right now, the overnight high in SPY is 383.52. The overnight low is 380.94. I will, I will be recapping everything Um at the end of today's action, we'll go over everything, what we might look forward to in the coming year. Again, I've had some people sign up for that special I offered. When you pay me through Venmo, you have to leave me your email, <laughs> right? I, that's my fault. Please leave me your email so I can send you a link to my Discord room, okay? Again, today I will be in later, probably around 1030, uh, once I get back from this appointment. So it's at paul dash asmar A-S-M-A-R, for my Venmo, $75, gives you access for three months to this live webinar every day with the profile being streamed. So um, I think you'll find it's more than worth it. As far as the game plan for this morning, well, again, there's a lot of time to go, but we're going to be treating this obviously as two separate days yesterday, double distribution. If we stay in the lower distribution, you're going to have lower value all day. So if that's the case, I would be looking for shorts. Okay, if we open below A's high, I'd be looking for shorts against both D's low, which is the lower end of the upper distribution and value low. Any acceptance back into that, then that short trade is over because then the odds of going and trading at our nine wide point of control would get a lot better. Okay, but if you can't get acceptance in there, I'll be looking at shorts a good part of the day. Now, I was calling the daily up. A lot of people might have still called it balance. And they might have said, that, well, we just stretched the balance. And now that we're failing, we're going to go to the balance low. Look, that's a real strong possibility. Okay, for me, if we take out yesterday's low, we're right back into balance. I just gave the buyers a little bit of credit for holding the trend day and taking out the four-day balance. But if we take out yesterday's low, to me, we're firmly back in balance. Is there a long play here? Well, since I was calling the daily up, if you are to push down, you can take along against yesterday's low, certainly out below it because there's nothing to lean on. That's number one. Number two, if in the next 90 minutes we open inside of D's, above D's low, then you could take along and use A's high and half back as you're out if you get below it. So those are all early plays, okay? Same with SPY. Um... Let's go to the chart real quick. We'll just do the daily right now. We'll recap everything like I said tonight. So here's your daily. Whether you're calling the daily up or a five-day balance, the bottom line is this. 
If we take out yesterday's high, the daily's firmly up then. There's no way you can call it balance anymore. And if you take out yesterday uh, yeah, low, well then you either keep it in balance as you had it, or for me, I can be coming right back into balance. And the other thing that we talked about last night, the 20 is about to cross back over the 50-day moving average. That would be the fourth time that happens in 2022 if it happens today. The previous three times, we've made new lows on the year. Good luck trading today. We'll recap the day, the week, the month, and the year at 4 p.m.